M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here's my normal hotspot here, Fusion, just MMDVM hat, and my FT70, which is on America Link. Now, I ordered this board from AliExpress. It was about £30. What's different about this board is it's a VHF UHF duplex board. And, it, and it's, I think it's good value at £30. So it's come through. It looks fine. The mistake I made was it does need to have these two antennas soldered. And one goes here and one goes here. You can buy them pre-soldered and then you can get one with an OLED screen, which I think goes here. Uh, already made so that's the one I really I should have bought but I got this one because I thought it because I thought I'd give it a go with blue DV now with blue DV you need a baseboard which I haven't got at the moment I'll show you what the baseboard looks like so the baseboard looks like this and delivered they're about 15 pound and when you put that with the with the whiteboard just plug it on top then you add a USB cable download the CH340 driver you can use Blue DV with Windows, and I'm just waiting for the baseboard to come so I can test it. So Blue DV looks like this, very easy on your computer, but if you're going to do Android or maybe even Linux, then it's a bit more complicated, above my, my knowledge. But anyway, the thing I want to try now, I know that this is working fine, this hotspot, if I key up, look, Fusion, you get everything come up as normal. I'm just going to get this, even though I haven't got the antennas on at the moment, because my soldering is rubbish. I will attempt it when I get the courage. Um, I'm just going to plug it straight on here. This is just a Raspberry Pi 2. It could be a 3. Um, and, um, and let's see if it, it starts to work. I'll show you the dashboard as it is using this MMDVM hat. These ones you can buy for about £25. It's a single MMDVM hat. Let's just show you PiStar. There's PiStar. Just usual PiStar. And the configuration is just for Fusion. PiStar and Raspberry is your password. And then the, confusion, the, <laughs> the configuration is YSF. And then I've got the frequency of the radio. Um, that's all you need really with YSF. There's the frequency. So back to this. Let's just turn this off and then swap the hats. So we just flick it off at the mains. Like so. And then all we've got to do is carefully pull off the hat. And what you've got to do is carefully don't push on the SD card. I've done that before and I've broken it. Broken the actual holder. So just hold it carefully. So we're just gonna, and also the lining these pins up. I've got that wrong a few times. Just make sure you line them up good. It's quite the board. I would say it's quite thin, so you don't want to push too hard on this board. So it's yeah, it's, it probably works great, but it is very thin. The actual board felt like I could crack it easy then. So just go easy where they. This one feels a bit more thicker. Anyway, it's on there. So let's uh, turn it back on. It's the same SD card. I haven't changed the settings or anything on the SD card. Like I said, the antennas are off. We're going to need them on to get some range on this. Flick the power back on. Like so. Let's watch the thing boot up. And you'll see my uh, Pi Star dashboard come back to life, and you'll see it all flashing away. And uh, so I think they're a good buy myself. It does come with these for adding to whichever baseboard you're going to use. And there's the there's the antennas. They've both got the same name. Sorry about that. I'll try and get them to zoom. There's one. And if you Google that, it just says something like 70 centimeter antenna. Um, actually, it might be 2 meters 70. I'll Google it again. Because it is a VHF and UHF. So give it a minute for that board to come to life. There you are. More lights flashing now. Last time we had some audio come through as well. Just have a look at the dashboard. It should be the same IP number because it's using the same baseboard. Do the dashboard there. Give it a quick key. And it is, even though there's no antenna, it is TX things. I just checked. Uh, let me just show you. Let's get my laptop in position. And uh, watch this. 
So it's the same thing, same TX. Look, see that? So it's fully working. So I'm happy that it works. And um, what's the best advice to solder onto the, look at it, it's hardly any solder there. I'm sure it's literally just a matter of put it in place and just dab it for a second and it should just stick. Someone give me some soldering advice. I got some flux, but I don't want to flood it with flux. So I'm happy with that. So we're playing with that when the other bits come. So um, bye for now. Thanks for watching my channel.